What do a bunch of people in Brazil speak? Portuguese. What does one person in Brazil speak? Portuguese. Welcome to Comic Book Editions, Volume 119. How are you? Thanks for stopping by today. I'm Ryan, Magic Lasso. Today we're going to unbox an AOK -okay from Brazil. My friend Andre has struck again. So we're going to open it up and see what's inside in just a few moments. If you're new to my channel, I hope that you'll click the subscribe button. Clicking the notification bell informs you when new content is added to the channel. Sharing this video, sharing my channel with someone that might be interested in it is another great way to show support. Thank you for all of the support, friendship, and kindness that you show me on my YouTube channel. It means the world to me. So Andre is my friend from Brazil. We've had the chance to hang out in person before, and he's struck with another AOK. -okay. You know, it wasn't all that long ago that he sent one to me. It was Comic Book Editions Volume 115, so just a few weeks back. And now he surprised me. I had no idea that this was coming, but it's here. One thing you might notice, let's address that right there, resealed. I'm going to talk about that, but I'm going to save that to the end of the video because I'd love to get your feedback on, on the hot take that I'm going to throw your way. But right now, I'm throwing you into fast forward motion so we can unbox this together and see what that Brazilian sent. Hang tight. Okay, I've got a stack. Let's see. Don't ruin your surprises by handling the stack. Just go through it as it is put inside the box, mister. LOL. Yeah, we ran into a little snag in unboxing and kind of spoiling the big item in the last A-OK. -okay. But it was awesome. Um... So this was on the bottom. I assume that that means that this is, is the top. That's what I assume. Um, I'm not really look. this is bubble wrap, so I, I can tell that's not a comic on the top, but I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna start. I think this is the last thing that I'm supposed to look at. See, now it's got me all paranoid and nervous, and I'm not sure what order I'm supposed to do this. Let's just start, let's start from the bottom. I think this is the right way to do it. So, okay. So thank you, Andre, first of all, uh, for sending more stuff my way. I wasn't expecting that at all. Total surprise. So thank you. Um, I don't know. The only thing prediction-wise that I could think that could be in here, and, and I probably should have said this before I opened it up, but I really have not looked at the contents. There was one, uh, I think I'm only missing one of the books that had these exclusive covers from Brazil that were done at the convention like in 2014 or so. And it's a Justice League book with a wraparound cover. The heroes are on one side and the villains are on, I believe, on the back cover. And I think that might be in here. I don't know, but we'll find out. I know it's not this first book because this first book is smaller than a normal comic book size. Let's see what it is. Uh, it's Superman. That's cool. I've never seen that cover before. Oh, wow. Superman in pain. Ah, oh, condition's great on that. I love the coloring. You know, the purple and, and kind of the lighter blue. I don't remember seeing that used much in Superman trade dress logo. Seeking Superman would probably know the answer to that much better than I do. It's a cool cover. Um... Quite possibly a Brazilian exclusive, maybe. Um, I certainly don't know every Superman cover that ever existed, but this one doesn't look familiar to me. So if it was recycled from a U.S. cover, it's still new to me. And that's cool. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, I like that. I know that's not Brainiac on the cover, but it, I can tell. I don't read Portuguese, but... Um, I do recognize Brainiac there, written in English. So Brainiac must be somewhere inside the book, as I assume that is not him. That's cool. Okay, what do we have up next? Okay, 
book number two. Ooh, more Superman. Oh, wow. So there was, um, was it called uh, the World of Krypton miniseries? I'm wondering if this is in a collection of those. I don't recognize the cover art either, but I think there were two different, I think there was like a World of Krypton, which was at the very end of the 70s, early 80s, published in the US, which could have ended up being published years later uh, over in Brazil. But I think there was a second one too, around the mid 80s, I think if I'm remembering correctly. I'm wondering if this isn't from that run. I love it though. Um, there we got uh, Jor-El and Lara and the, the baby kal rocketing off the planet and turns out to be Superman. I'm telling you things that you already know, but I love it, that's awesome. Very cool, I love that. So uh, Andre knows, Andre's as much of a DC fan as I am. Now he likes a little bit of Marvel too. I probably like a little bit more Marvel than he likes, but um, we definitely have similar tastes and, and um, he knows what I like, and I like this. Okay, another one of the smaller size. Ooh, now this cover I don't recognize at all, but I do recognize Power Girl in the upper top. Um, Power Girl on top, two words that go together. Uh, what an interesting cover. It's a Justice League International comic title. Wow. This has me completely intrigued as what the story could be like. I might have to do some more research and maybe even end up reading, if not picking up, the U.S. equivalent to whatever story is reprinted inside of here. Because I like it. That is cool. Man, Andre, the condition on all these books is fantastic, too. You've really uh, scoured Brazil finding me some really nice quality copies. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. I think this is the last book and then there's this item. Oh, cool. The, the Titans. Oh, that's awesome. I've definitely never seen this cover. Look at how bulky Nightwing looks there. Uh, Robin and Nightwing and the big Batman and some of, some of the other types, Cyborg, Starfire, Changeling, Raven. That's cool. Yeah, I'm not recognizing any of these titles. Now, if there is, if these covers are equivalent to books that were released in the U.S. with the same cover image, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. I, I, I'd definitely be interested in knowing that. Um, regardless if they are or if they aren't, I'm happy to have these ones into my collection. Some cool stuff here. That's awesome. Thank you. Awesome. And it looks like I have one last thing to look at. I think it's an action figure, perhaps. And it, all it says is surprise. The surprise is... It's Scarlet from G.I. Joe. Um, here she is. Now, poor good luck Zartan won't have to stand any more lonely nights for good luck Scarlet just arrived. So good luck Zartan is a joke uh, that Andre and I have because I received this Zartan action figure that I didn't order. Couldn't figure out, and I thought Andre, had it sent to me because he wanted it. Turns out he didn't. So I started looking on eBay for maybe people that I had bought from, from that same town or same state that accidentally shipped a different purchase to me. They got their mailing labels confused, couldn't connect the dots anywhere or anyhow. So I just got this Zartan, this random Zartan action figure in the mail. So I was gonna get rid of it. And then I started thinking, I'm like, what if this is my good luck Zartan? Maybe it's my Good Luck Zartan. Maybe I was meant to have a Good Luck Zartan. So it's GLZ Good Luck Zartan. And now I have a GLS, Good Luck Scarlet, to go with it. I love that. <laughs> I love this more than Andre loves his bunny rabbit cards. And he loves him some bunny rabbit cards. 
Make no mistakes about that. That's awesome, Andre. Thank you so much. This definitely was meant to be open last, I can tell. Thank you. That's awesome. Oh, cool. I love that. I kind of like the look that Scarlett's giving over here, you know? She's kind of like, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, make sure in the comments below to leave me a comment on which was your favorite cover or favorite item that I unboxed in this comic book editions video 120 today. I would appreciate it much. Andre doesn't have a YouTube, but he does have an Instagram. So I left the link for that in the description for this video. If you want to sub or, or follow him on Instagram, I'm sure that he would appreciate that. And you can check out some more of the cool content that he posts on there. And he's got a lot of stuff past and present that he likes to share on his Instagram. So that's really cool. My friend, thank you so much. Well, I want to jump on my soapbox for just a minute. Um, as I mentioned at the, at the top of the video, resealed, rewrapped. Um, first of all, I didn't know this package was coming. Also, second of all, recently I had a customer in my store that was talking about the post office here in West Bend, Wisconsin, and said that they actually hire someone to open up every media mail package. And I understand that it's perfectly illegal for them, for the post office, to open up media mail packages. It says so on their website. There's signs in the post office, any post office I've ever been in, it says that, because there are certain things that can't be sent media mail. Comic books are one of them. Uh, anything with an advertisement in it can't be sent media mail. Completely understand that. But the fact, I don't know. Now that I've had it happen to me, and granted, yes, this did not qualify as media mail, and I paid the difference in the postage. That's fine. But then I start thinking about what if it had been legitimate media mail? You know, what if, what if it was an item that qualified for media mail and they opened it up? I know they have the right to do that, but I just don't know how I feel about that. I also don't know how I feel about them having someone on staff just opening up media mail packages. Other post office that I've been to in towns and other post offices that I know of in towns bigger and smaller than this town, they don't open up media mail. Or if they do, they, they don't open up every media mail package. And my taxpayer money is going to support a salary of someone that's opening it. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'd like to know your opinions and your feedbacks on that too. How you feel about that. There's something, you know, I don't know. I've always had such a good relationship with the post office and the people that work at the post office and all the other towns I lived in. This post office has a, has a vibe to it. Like, it has a vibe that something just doesn't feel right. Like, when you walk in there, you can feel stress in the air. Every time I've, not that I've been in this post office a ton, but I've been in it multiple times. And every time I walk in, it has that same feel to it. Like, it's a high stress area. I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's something, can you even complain about something like that? Do I have the right to complain? about? I don't know. Feedback on that would be very much appreciated. So I'd like to, like to know your opinions. And with that, I wrap up Comic Book Editions Volume 120. The post office opening up the package did bum me out, especially because there's the potential for them to lose things or damage things in them opening it up. And that does bum me out. I understand the right to, but it still bums me out. But all the awesome stuff that Andre sent me makes me forget about that at the present moment present the keyword because that's what i have here okay you made it to the end of this comic book editions video i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day thanks again andre take care